What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. Finally got my haul of iPhones and I wanted to make a little unique video that I haven't made before and an entire video dedicated to seeing how the iPhone 7 does when it comes to scratch resistant. Namely the two black colors, the matte black right here and the jet black over here, which I'm about to open. So I know these colors are new, unique, and Apple has even sent a warning saying that the jet black is gonna scratch easily. I wanna see just how easily. So we're gonna put it through a couple tests to see you know, on the front of the display, the back of the iPhone, how easy does it scratch? So in here, just wanna open this guy up real quick. Uh, I did manage to get a jet black iPhone. So I was really happy about that. And here it is. So let's just pop this guy open. And they've gotten much easier to open. Inside, pamphlet, and here is this guy. So. All I'm interested in seeing, and wow, this is actually my first time seeing this in person. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's just like my uh, Mac Pro Tower, a little bit darker actually. Man, the seamless lines. This thing is absolutely stunning. So let's go ahead and scratch it and ruin it right now. Now Apple recommends you use a case. Let's see to what extent this thing will scratch in uh, just a few tests. So we've got three models of the iPhone 7 right here. Obviously the anodized aluminum is gonna be a little bit different versus the shiny sheen of the iPhone in jet black. All right, so first things first with just some keys, uh, just to see, you know, they're gonna be in your pocket. Obviously you don't want it, you wouldn't want them right next to each other, but if they were, just on this guy, very light. And uh, these scratches seem to rub off. I wasn't pressing very hard at all. So, over here. Same thing. These weren't very deep. And very light pressure on this guy. So it's actually very hard to get a grip to scratch it. But wow, all right, so where those wiped off, you now have permanent scratches on the jet black. And I don't know how easy that is to see, but they're just there. And that was a very, very light pressure. So do you need a case on this? Absolutely, Apple was not lying, wow. Like, look at the difference here. The matte black has nothing on it. It's very hard to see, but scratches are there. Okay, so uh, let's take this up a notch on the front of the display. These will pretty much be identical. So let's see how this does. Yeah, this is an oleophobic coating, so it's not gonna be that easy to scratch. So, are we seeing anything there? Not really. It's gonna take more pressure than that. All right, so uh, let's try a knife here. See what we can do. So, medium scratches. Yeah, they're here to stay. So, with a knife, you're gonna see them on the, even the matte black. So, you don't really need much, just a sharp knife and boom, you've got scratches that are going to stay. So rose gold, yeah they're definitely there as well, it's just harder to see. So on the jet black, I'm the most afraid for this one because, oh man, you can actually see like chunks of the display coming out, like little shavings. And yeah, wow, the most visible on jet black. Look at that. So, ouch. Out of all of these, of course, the jet black is gonna scratch the easiest. The display, not so much, but you know, just medium light pressure with keys scratches it, but with a knife, very light pressure even scratches it. Obviously, we're not gonna be putting our iPhones up against the knife. The last test, I just wanted to throw this in a little bucket of nuts and bolts and see how it responds to scratches, so put it in here. And I'm gonna flip it upside down. All right. So, actually not too bad. Actually not seeing much on it at all on the front of the display. 
Um, actually, there are a few scratches up here. So you're going to start seeing some very light scuffing. It's very hard to see. I can understand that, but they're definitely there. So on the back, I'm very surprised there's not much. So let's go ahead and move on to this guy. Put in there. And I'm going to flip this upside down. So it's grimy. Oh wow, look at that. So rose gold shows scratches so much easier compared to the matte. I don't know why, but the matte seems to hide them very, very well, the black. Yeah, wow. I'm surprised compared to the black, you're seeing way more. On the front of the display, uh, not so much. This is definitely more resistant to these scratches. So. Okay, last one, the one that we know is going to absolutely fail this test. Let's drop this in here. Okay, and on the back. It hurts so much to do this. The sheen, the, the gloss is so beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So a lot of fine scratches, it's really not so bad, but yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of the mirror sheen on the back of an iPod Touch. Like you'll get a lot of little micro scratches everywhere on the edges in particular. And the metal over here underneath, you can see, starts revealing all these scratches. So it's pretty bad, but not as bad as I thought. All right, and looking at the front, not so bad, honestly. So, yeah, so beautiful, beautiful color, man. It's just going to scratch if you apply a knife to it. But with all of these metal bolts shaking it in there, a lot of little fine scratches. There it is, guys. So, looks like the iPhone 7 is actually pretty resistant to scratches, pretty resistant to drops. Next test is water, so let's go ahead and figure that out, but definitely use a case on your Jet Black iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. You will need it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the other videos that I have posted about the iPhone 7, and I'll have more soon. There's just so much to post. But overall, pretty impressed with this phone. It is doing a great job. Have a great day, guys. Peace.